me grab my iPad. You should see my iPad holder. I made it all by myself and I'm quite proud of it. Um, it's made out of Dupalo <laughs> and I'm not joking. I am not joking. Okay, uh, let me mute this. There we go. And let's see who is here. Um, okay, there we go. Miss Connie, how nice to see you. I think I missed you last week. I can't remember if you were here or not. Let me get that out of the way. Hello, Darlene. Welcome here. Glad you're here. Glad you're here. Whew, what a day. Let me introduce myself. And while I'm doing that, um, when you pop on, please hello, say hello. Tell me where you're from. Happy that you are all here joining my friends and I here today. So hello, bonjour. My name is Denise Willerton and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Um, if you have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, that is great. I'm thrilled that you're still here and uh, stick around. I want you to join in the fun. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to help you with your Stampin' Up! needs. Um, yeah, I hope you leave here inspired. Well, leave here. You just got here. I hope you are inspired while you're here. And um, yeah, I am playing with the Forever Fern bundle, which is retiring, which makes me sad. Let me say hello. Uh, Darlene, I said hi to you already. Hello, Shell. Hello, uh, Leanne and Chris. And uh, Leanne, don't worry. I've been called worse than then Sinise is actually kind of a nice name, actually. Um, uh, Keisha, I think I said your name right. I've asked you before how to pronounce it. Um, Karen, Mona, Lucy. Um, Karen, you shared. Way to go, girl. You know the drill. Okay, let me get your name down. Jean, hello. Nice to see your name pop up. Vicky, hello. Welcome here. Um, if you've never been here before, what I like to do um, is I encourage the girls to share. Um, uh, oh, are you serious? Well, thank you, Shell, for that. Um, so it's not retiring, but I still love it. Actually, I'm thrilled that it's not retiring. Um, ta -ta -ta, Karen. So for those who are new here, um, what I like to do is when you share and you let me know that you've shared, um, yay is right, um, I enter your name for a draw, and what I do is um, anyone that shares today and they let me know, their name goes in for the draw for next week, and you don't have to be present, I'll, I'll track you down, I have ways of finding you. Um, uh, and, and so at the end of today's uh, live, I will draw the names who shared last week. So, uh, Lucy and Karen, I've got you down. Um, Jean, there you go. I've got you down too, hun. And Connie, I see that. Jean, um, I've got to start putting um, initials for the last name just in case there are people with the same first name because it happens. I have a few... Who are the same so I'm just gonna tuck those names to the side for those that I know have shared so this morning I loaded my um, my washing machine with laundry and filled it up with water and it was heavy darks so it was like Dean's jeans and one of his work jackets um, that he likes to wear up at the lake and the washing machine filled with water and then it sat and did nothing. And I'm like, you have got to be kidding. So, hi Tracy, welcome here. Nice to have you. Um, so anyway, I, I unplugged my machine. I, I tried doing all kinds of things with it. So what I ended up doing was going back to the washing machine and I tried to squish out as much water as I could. So now we're talking like heavy jeans and, you know, like um, uh, triple layered jackets to keep you warm and all of this kind of nonsense. So it was crazy. I got my 
my washing machine emptied of this wet, heavy clothes, threw it in the bathtub, and hoped that eventually it would just drain, and I wasn't sure what the problem was. Um, I went looking for a repairman, and then I thought, you know what, wait a minute here. Something is going to come to the rescue. Hi, Kathy, welcome here. And Jean obviously saw my post. You know what I did? I came downstairs. I took my magnet from my Stamparatus. And so you know how you've got like the, um, uh, the, the agitator and then here's the agitator and then there's like this really thin uh, nothingness before the, the barrel starts um, being created. How's, how's that for an explanation? Anyway, there's a little gap. So I took my magnet and I went in between the gap of the barrel and in between the gap of the agitator and clink, I picked up a dime and clink, I picked up another dime. So there were two dimes in there and they were probably stopping my agitator from agitating, which was very aggravating. How's that for let's make a poem? Um, Anyway, I fixed it. I fixed it. So anyway, uh, Kathy, I don't think I said hi to you. So hi and welcome here. I'm going to bring the camera down and um, let me know if you shared. Uh, Jean, I do have your name. So, so far for shares, I have Lucy, Karen, Connie, and Jean. So let me know if you do share and um, I will uh, put your name in for the draw for next week. And everyone else who is watching, hi. Oh, <laughs> sorry, Barb. I am not good at multitasking. Uh, what made you think of that? Lucy, explain. Um, yes, Miss Fixit. Tracy, yes. Um, who shared that I just missed? Barb. Barb, I've got you down for sharing for today as well, okay? Um, let's bring the camera down, girls. Swing it around. Sorry if that made you dizzy. I'm not sure where I'm at. I am here. I look like I'm like super crooked. Oh, the magnet. What made me think of that? You know what? Um, I just had a feeling that I had like metal or something stuck in because I mean with all the working that Dean does at the lake I wasn't sure like is there sorry for all of this jiggling is maybe there's a nail in there or something am I at a really weird angle girls is this awkward for you to be looking at do you feel like your your um your Tracy I've got you down do you feel like you are climbing a hill is this a weird and let me turn some lights on so we can deal with that shadow. Uh, Tracy, I've got to put you down for a share. Yeah, so that is what made me, um, I was going to write Tracy Magnet. Oh my goodness. So Lucy, that's what made me think of it. <laughs> Denise McIver. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, yeah, I was just thinking maybe there's a nail or a screw or whatever. So let me just show you a little, uh, a few goodies that came my way. Oh, look at what you're, what you're peeking in at. Girls, you're bad. Um, I just want to show you some love that I've received in the mail. This came from my friend Terry, and she is from uh, Minnesota. So this was a sweet little Easter card that she sent. This is from the Birds... Uh, Birds and More, I think it's called. So that was from Terry. This was from my dear friend Shelly. She's usually here, and maybe she's going to pop on late. So she sent me a beautiful birthday card. And she also sent me last week another card just saying, I love how our friendship has grown and just a really, really sweet message in there. This design paper is what we are using for my May uh, 4th class. So if you have not signed up for that class, you can do so. 
um, you can let me know and I can send you a Google form that you can fill in for that. This is just a sweet card that I got from one of my girls um, and I forgot to show it because she did um, pass this on to me before my birthday and it's empty so I can pass it along and she made um, a sweet little envelope to go with it. So that's from the, the Hey Chick. Hi Brenda, welcome here. Nice to see you. This was a beautiful card that I got from Janet Stewart which was a real surprise. I met her like, I don't know, a week and a half ago. So how sweet is that? So she's got that, um, those foil elements in there. So that was really nice. This came from my dear friend Lucy for my birthday and I forgot to show it last time. So there's a, a beautiful belly band and look at the, the design paper and then she colored these flowers. I just love this card. It is so rich and elegant. So thank you for that, Lucy. Brenda, don't forget to share if you would like to, um, and I can enter your name, name for a draw. This ca I can't remember. Maybe I did show this last week. This came from uh, my girlfriend, Cheryl. I think I did show you this last week. So this is design paper, and um, it's just cut in such a fashion and then folded in such a fashion that um, it makes this sweet little dress. So thank you for that, um, Cheryl. Shelly, you just missed. I was bragging on your cards, so thank you for that. Susan, I've got you down for a share, and I want to welcome you here. And um, I also want to welcome Shell here as well. So Susan... Uh, I've got you down for a share. And did I miss anybody else? Brenda. Brenda, Brenda, I've got you down for a share. Thank you for doing that, ladies. It, um, it means an awful lot. And I mean, when you, when you share, it's kind of, it's kind of a way of saying, yeah, this girl's a little bit loopy, but you might like what she makes. I don't know. <laughs> yes, they were beautiful cards. If you do want to place an online order with me, if you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please use this host code, or you can email me and I can place that order for you. And of course my phone is ringing. It's my husband. He knows I'm doing a live. And he hung up. He's like, whoops, she's doing a live. I can't phone her right now. Um, so I'm going to move this out of the way. If you do place an online order and you don't remember this host code, please let me know and I can pass that on to you, okay? So let's get on to today's card. So this is the Forever Fern and um, got to share your people with your people. Hmm. Hi, Dean. <laughs> Shelly, you're so funny. Um, so I was under the impression that the Forever Fern um, is retiring, but it's not. It's the bundle that's retiring. So I'm, I'm actually thrilled about that because I love this set and I haven't played with it enough. Um, I stamped this using shaded spruce. I mean, look at the detail in here. It's absolutely gorgeous. And Shelly, I will pass your hello on to Dean. Like this, it's such a beautiful stamp set. So I'm thrilled it's not retiring. I totally thought it was. So here we go. Let me show you how I created that. So if you're taking notes, you're going to grab your pen and paper and, uh, and you're going to start writing down notes. So here is your eight and a half by five and a half um, card base scored at four and a quarter and I always like to give it another little um, I like to burnish it well especially when it's a card that is going to sit like this okay because if you don't burnish it well it's going to do the splits on you so burnish it well okay then what I did was I cut a piece of design paper and this design paper is the forever greenery Okay, and this measures, let me see, six inches by four and a quarter. But you know what I did? I grabbed my, haven't played with this enough, so I thought I have to, my Stitched with Whimsy, okay? 
Yeah, Kathy, you know what? The paper usually always retires, um, and so I believe it is retiring. When you purchase the stitched with whimsy, that's exactly what it is. It's going to stitch, okay? It's not going to cut. Now, because it's dark on this side, you can hardly see the stitching, okay? But if you turn it over, <laughs> Donna, the curling game is finished. You know what? I was looking for it, and I couldn't find it. So please tell me who was curling and who won, okay? I would love to know, because it's the... Um, uh, what is it? It's not the Pinties. Um, I can't remember now. So I took the larger, um, the larger die from the Stitch with Whimsy and I stitched it down on this side. Okay. I love these two, Dar. Now, if you flip it over, you can see the stitching a whole lot better because what I wanted to do is I wanted to trim and I should have done this ahead of time but I am just I am following the lines of the stitching and I'm going to come around the corner so I'm going to go in a circle and I'm I'm moving my paper not so much my scissors my scissors are going up and down but it's my paper that is guiding my scissors okay Sportsnet Humpties. Oh yes, it was the hump the Pinties, right? The Pinties Grand Grand Slam. Flurry versus Kim and Flurry won. Okay. That's great. So girls, you need to give me a heads up when there's a curling game on because I just get so caught up in my own little world here. Because I actually love creating and watching curling at the same time. Now Gushu's my fave. Gushu is my fave. So if anyone is new here, what I like to do is give you a shout out when you say hello. But if you don't say hello, I want to respect your privacy. And um, I will just say hi to you, but I won't call out your name. But if you do share... Let me know that you have shared, and um, I will enter your name for a draw. And next week, I will draw the winner from the sharers. That's a word. The sharers from this week. So, okay, we've got the stitch with, Stitched with Whimsy, the big guy. And I cut it out, and that's going to go right down on my paper now on my card base. You can decide if you want to use dimensionals on this or if if you want to just use your Tombow. And I'm going to use my Tombow on this. You know what? We are heading to the lake. And um, I should have stitched it the other way. That would have been cute too, just to change it up a little bit. Um, yeah, we don't have live TV at the lake. So I'll be missing all the games, but I'll tape them and I'll watch them when I get back. Jones. Oh, Jones, that's my, that's our family friend, okay? Remember, Donna, I was telling you that? I was name dropping. Jennifer Jones and her family are very, very dear friends to my parents and us as well. We know them personally. I've known Jennifer and her younger sister Heather since they were like little little girls do these dyes carry over um stitched with whimsy you know what Susan I think they do I don't have that list in front of me um uh who else has a retiring list Donna if you let's see stitched with whimsy stitch shapes is retiring. Um, you know what? I don't think they are. I think they are going forward. But if somebody knows that for sure, because I don't see them on here. And you know what, um, Susan, I can, I can uh, look that up and let you know for sure. But I think I think the Stitched with Whimsy is going forward into the new catalog. 
Thank you, Shell, for that. Appreciate it. I need many, many managers to manage me, my craziness. I took this little panel, and this measures four and a half by three inches, and I ran that through my cut and emboss machine using the Nature's Thoughts dies. I love this set, and I love what this die does to that panel, okay? Yeah, I, um, it's easy to do that, isn't it? It's like there's, there's only so much that our eyes can take in. What I did then was in the Forever Fern, I'm in love with this set. I am so thrilled that it is not going bye-bye. And you know what? I failed to bring my, 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 what color did I use here? Sorry, girls, soft sea foam. foam. I shall return. Sorry about that. thought I was all organized. Four and a half by three, Chris. Four and a half by three. Let's get out our little block. I'm going to use my B block. And I am just going to put some of these little splotches on here. Yeah, this panel is four and a half by three inches. Okay? Four and a half by three inches. Here's that little splotch. And let's just ink that up a little bit. Get myself in focus here. And do I need to stamp off? No, I don't. I am just going to go random. I don't know if you can see that. It's so light. A lot of this is going to get hid. And one more right there. I'm liking that. This is fairly quick. When I'm ready, I'm actually going to put dimensionals behind that. Chris, you're welcome. You are welcome. And you know what? Why don't we go ahead and do that now? And that is shaded spruce. Remember when my lives were always upside down, where I had to work upside down? I'm so glad I figured it out. And I don't even, I don't even remember how I figured that out. So is anybody coming to my birthday stack? It is going to be hidden. It's going to be a little bit hidden when I put these elements on it, but I still wanted a little bit of it showing. So I was kind of strategic where I placed it, Barb. And I want one in the middle because I don't want that to sag. So I finished creating my four cards for my birthday bundle at the end of May, and I am thrilled. Oh, you know what? I didn't want to quite put this down yet, but I'm going to now. I've removed the backing. Let's just drop that, give it a little press, and now let's move on to our sentiment and the other elements. We're going to be done this before you know it and I'm going to be drawing a winner. Carol, hello, welcome here and I got you down for a share. And you know what? You won last week, Carol. It's been a crazy week. I apologize. I still have not put your card in the mail, but I will. I promise. So if you've been waiting for it, my bad. My, my bad. 
Sorry about that. So when you're using the stitched shapes, and you know what? Girls, if you do not have the stitched shapes framelits, they are retiring. Can you believe it? You've got circles, you've got ovals, and you also have squares. Okay? I am not getting rid of these. They are staying in my stash. So the stitched shapes are disappearing. So what I was starting to say is when you die cut using these, there's actually a right side and a wrong side, okay? So I want to make sure that my right side is forward and looking at me. Let's get our sentiment from the Forever Fern. And this sentiment is lovely. To a friend that makes me smile. And you know what, girls? You do make me smile. You seriously do. You got a new... Oh, I love those pots, Shelly. Ah! I love those pots. I don't own one, but have fun with that. What color did you get, Shelly? Okay. Now I am going to, sorry if my head's in here, I'm just going to go straight down and I jiggled. I wiggled and jiggled a little bit, but you know what? That's okay. I can always try to fix that. Did you say what size the circles were? You know what, Chris? I didn't, but I can let you know. I'll let you know right now. So with the circles, for the sentiment, for my smushed sentiment, I used the second one, okay, from the, from the beginning. And then for my large shaded spruce, I used the next one. So I used die number two and die number three, okay? Susan, you do need to use this bundle more. It is fabulous. It is fabulous. And Shell, it's okay that you shouted because I'm shouting that these are going. Like, I can't believe that they're going. What I did on my card, and I'm going to do it on this one as well. Notice how I didn't center my circles. I wanted um, to... Uh, to center to to not center them on purpose sorry you know what i'm trying to work and i'm trying to read at the same time doesn't work in my world uh so, um shelly did you tell me what color your le uh, cruzette collection is and you ended up cleaning your house oh my goodness I treated myself this week. I have never in my life done that. And I actually hired someone to come and clean my house for me because I've been behind the eight ball. I stamped these ahead of time. I did not cut this very well. I should have put down a little piece of, um, of masking tape or um, not masking tape. Don't use masking tape. It sticks too hard of painter's tape, okay? And um, anyway, I should have used painter's tape to hold it down a little bit because it jiggled and it didn't cut nicely. Now these were already pre-cut, so I'm just going to go with them. I am going to place these down on my card until I like what I see. These are both the same. I'm not sure if I'm liking that. But let's see, if I put this here, and then this down, then you can kind of see what you have going on. This is too much, I think. 
Do I want that there or even, yeah, I don't mind that. You know what, I think I will do something like that. So I'm just going to leave that all there. And let's see if this is gonna work. Uh, my colors, uh, Christine, this is shaded spruce right here. And this is soft sea foam, okay? Soft sea foam, thank you so much. I see someone else that has popped on here. And I want to welcome you here. I'm not going to um, call out your name unless you say hi. But what I always tell um, my friends that pop in, if you share that you're watching this, I will add your name um, to a draw for next week. Or washi. Yeah, you know what? Washi works too. And you, my washi tape, I should keep it with my with my cut and emboss machine, and I don't. So I don't know. Is there an easier way of doing this? I'm just going to do it this way because I know that my sentiment, this is not what I did when I created my card. I don't know why I'm doing this. And I want, I want this to be down at the bottom. And I am very crooked right now, but... I'm going to straighten that up in a minute. So that's going to set. Take out the little one. Ah, it's too late. No, it's not. Yeah, you don't want the little one in there, Barb? Shaded spruce and soft sea foam. Lovely colors. So you like it better with the little guy gone? Okay. The little guy is gone. Let's see if anything... So I'm going to put a little bit of adhesive down here. So I started talking earlier. Better? Okay. Thanks, girls, for your input. And you know what? I failed to watch the size of my card. So you know what? See how if I put it this way, I have to go down here in order for my leaves to bypass my card. Okay? And I don't really want it hanging beyond here. So if I turn my card and I go this way, perfect. So let's do that. But now I'm a little bit lacking in there, but you know what? That's okay. I will fix that with some gems. So on May the 26th, Second, which is the long weekend, sorry about that, I am having a birthday stack class via Zoom. And if you would like to come, that would be lovely. I'd love to have you. We are creating eight cards, four styles, two each, $55. And in that $55, you are also receiving, I'm looking for my dimensionals. In that $55, you are also receiving um, let me grab it. Let me grab it. Hang on so that you can see. Now I have not uh, completed my um i have not completed my my kits but i've started building and donna we are going to the lake we have wi-fi at the lake so i'm going to do zoom at the lake for that that long weekend so whoops i didn't want you to see the name so in in your kit you're going to receive this you're going to receive the um the snail mail uh, bundle twine bundle twine is that what it's called your wink of Stella and some champagne rhinestones plus your eight kits plus two bingo cards because we're going to play bingo and win prizes and if you want two more bingo cards you can purchase those for an additional ten dollars and it's going to just be a fun day starting at 10 until 4 and I will be at the lake so I'm going to move 
or remove my backing. And let's put this on about here. I've got all this empty space. I'm going to grab the, the uh, new Genial Gems. I think, am I allowed to do this? I know you're allowed to show it because I already showcased my, uh, my unveiling. But am I allowed to actually use them? <laughs> Sorry, if I'm not... Please don't tattletale on me, Kay, because I'm, I'm going to use them. Yes, it is soft sea foam. Yep, shaded spruce and soft sea foam. So I'm going to use a bigger one, and then right beside it, let's just put a smaller one. And do I want this in here? Hmm, that really bugs me that I smudged this. That really, really bothers me. I need another one in here because I, I have so much of a blank. That looks too much like a face. Mm -hmm. It's going to go right up here. Oh, that's great. Thanks for that, ladies. I just don't want to get in trouble, you know? Such a rule follower. I try to be anyway. I have my moments where I don't, I guess, obviously, because that would have been one of them. So here is my quick and simple thought it was retiring, thrilled that it's not. There's my smudged one. Usually when I'm doing a sentiment, um, yeah, it does need another one. Okay, Donna, tell me where am I putting the other one? Because I do have four. And I always work in odds. See, I've got three here. So, Donna, I'm waiting for you. What color and where do I place it? Odd number. Always odds. Upper left. Like upper left on the panel? Or upper left here? I'm thinking here. And green. Okay. Okay. Let's grab a little one because I'm thinking that you're thinking up here. There we go. Balanced. Sa balance. Oh, on the panel. Yes, that's where it is. It doesn't have to be an odd number. <laughs> uh oh, here we go. Here we go. So, Here's my two cards. One sits this way and one sits tall. Smudged, not smudged. Stamped by hand, Stamparatus. I usually always, always use the Stamparatus when I'm doing um, my sentiment. And this would be the why. I went down nice and straight, but then I jiggled. Well, Talia, thank you very much, hon. Thank you, thank you. Who wants to see and it's going to be a quick, quick sneak peek of my cards for birthday stack. But you're going to have to look fast because I'm not, I'm not coming back a second time to show you, okay? You can't see the smudge? Oh my goodness, well, you're kind. There's the smudge, Lucy. There's the smudge. And I see hearts. Thank you so much for that. Whoops, you're no, I'm not even in camera. There's the smudge. Now you can see it, I'm pretty sure. Sorry about that. Too high. <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, Carol. I am, I can't sell my stamp -a jig I never use it because I am such a Stamparatus snob. Like I just, I seriously am. Okay. I'm going to do something that I normally never do. But if you're interested, you need to watch quick because this is going to happen really fast. Okay. I will show you the four cards that we are making for my birthday stack at the end of the month. If you are interested, let me know and I can send you an invite to that. Um, 
four cards to each. Guess what you did? You made 40 Mother's Day cards. Oh my goodness. <gasps> Barb, you have to post a picture, okay? Card number one. Card number two. Card number three. Card number four. There, you saw it. That's my birthday stack. That is birthday stack cards. That is on Saturday of the May long weekend. I will be at the lake and it's via Zoom so anyone can join. The camera is going to come up and uh, I'm going to draw the prize winner from last week's share. So here we go, coming up. Whoops, I hope I didn't mess something up there. I feel like I'm super cro crooked and feel like I'm... Okay, so there's, there's a fair amount of names in my little tin this week. Because last week for shares, here is what I have. I had Connie and Carol and Kathy and Barb and Karen. Thanks, girls. And Jean. And Jean, you just commented. And there's your name. And Brenda and Dar and Tracy. Those were the girls that shared last week, okay? Now, here's, here's a bonus. When I did my very quick impromptu um, uh, unveiling last week, some of you girls shared, and, and I, maybe I did ask you to share, but I don't think I did. But you know what? When I saw that some of you were sharing, I thought, your names are going in for the draw for this week. So last week, the girls that shared for my unveil were Carol and Gail and Barb and Lucy and Susan and Brenda. Okay, so those were the, those were the names of the girls that shared. Now, before I draw, have I forgotten anyone? Did anyone share last week? on my live and did anyone share during my unveil um, and I failed to call your name out I think we're good I'm going to draw the name okay I look at myself like I'm looking at my iPad and I'm thinking oh my goodness you poor girls you can, you can always, like, just hide my face and just watch me make a card. Thanks, Jean. You know what? Those cards were so fun to create. Okay, I have, I have one name. The winner from last week is Gail, and um, she won through the unveil. So thank you for sharing, Gail, and I know she is not here today, so I'm going to give her... Um, the the unsmudged card and uh, she lives here in Winnipeg so she's just down the street from me so I will get that to her so um, so Gail won this week Carol won last week and um, I just I love sharing my cards with you girls and I love when you come and you join me on my lives I look forward to it all day long. I look forward and I keep looking at the time. Are we almost there yet? Are we almost there yet? And uh, and I I usually think I'm ready, but of course I'm I'm not. Right? It's like I didn't have my soft sea foam today. But anyway, um, that's it for today. So I'm gonna scoot. I've got a few things to pack. Um, Dean has taken tomorrow off, so we have a long weekend. So we are going to the lake for the weekend. So thank you so much everyone for popping by. I really enjoyed my time with you. Hope you enjoyed the card. And Gail, this is coming your way. And Carol, I will be mailing your card to you. And I have emptied my bucket and my new names are going in, okay? 
You're welcome, Lucy. Bienvenue, bienvenue. Talk to you all later. Have a great, wonderful weekend. Bye-bye.